Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Today I've got my first guide for Gotham Knights, where I'll be showing you how to exploit major crimes in this game to farm hundreds of thousands of XP in only 5 to 10 minutes. Not clickbait at all, I promise. And that means you'll be able to hit level 40 in only an hour or two. Let's get into it. <laughs> So there are two parts to this farm. The first is resetting crimes so that you can infinitely repeat the best ones to generate an unlimited supply of XP. And secondly, you'll want to ensure you're doing the highest level crimes where each enemy drops up to 4,000 plus XP each, which is where the hundreds of thousands every few minutes will come from. And I'll be showing you how to do both of those. So to start this all off, we're going to want to reach level 12 evidence. Now you can view your evidence level by going to the map be in the top right. Now this resets every night and the evidence level determines what crimes are generated for the next night every time you return to the Belfry. So to increase this level you need to defeat enemies and retrieve the little red magnifying glass looking stuff that they drop on the ground. I believe they're called clues. Now these can be collected through the standard crimes that you find around the map that's indicated by the little white triangle or it can be collected of course from enemies during the major crimes which are the ones with the big red triangle. Now we can make use of the exploit here to farm an unlimited amount of clues. Now to do this you want to find one of these major crimes with the big red triangle. Now you preferably want to find one with an abundance of enemies to defeat. I highly recommend changing your difficulty to the lowest difficulty as well. This will ensure you basically one shot any enemy and it will speed up everything in this video tremendously. Now you're going to kill everybody except for one enemy. Making sure you pick up the clues off the ground of course. Now you need to make sure one enemy survives so you don't complete the crime. So now you're going to pause the game with that one enemy remaining and exit to the main menu. Now simply load back in and you can do this entire crime over and over again until you hit the max evidence level. All right, so you've hit evidence level 12, perfect. So you want to travel to the Belfry and as soon as you arrive, you'll see it generates the new crimes in the bottom left of your screen. Now just exit immediately or you can upgrade your armor, it doesn't matter but once you exit it should start the next night and what you're looking for now is a red triangle crime that is labeled as a very high difficulty. Now from my experience you should have at least two every time. I have a feeling that the further you are into your game that the more there might be. Now I have finished the game and I am playing through New Game Plus so if yours is different then that could be why but either way you can still make use of this to some degree. So if you've got a couple to choose from you want to choose the one that you would have the most enemies or the easiest type of enemies. Don't forget you should be fine if you change your game's difficulty so the type of enemies shouldn't matter that much. Now the one I've chosen is to defend a target from a group of enemies. Now these enemies should come in waves which will make XP farming even easier. So I'm going to fly over here and when I get here you'll see that some of the enemies have crowns on top of their level. Now this is because they're insanely high level. You can see they're actually over the max which means they yield way better resources and XP upon death which is great. Now just before I jump down there I'll quickly show you what level I am at. So currently I am level 39 so I'm one away from the max level and I just need over 50,000 XP to hit that level 40. So this should take about one or maybe two runs of this activity which will only take a couple minutes. So let me show you how it's done. So I'm going to speed up this gameplay while I remind you guys while you're farming you need to ensure that you always leave an enemy alive and you need to ensure that you you don't fail the activity. In this case, the person I'm leaving alive will be attacking the door to the warehouse, and if that does get destroyed, I will fail and the crime will disappear. So even if you don't kill all the enemies, it's better to pause just before you fail and exit to the main menu so you can keep farming in this location. Another awesome thing about this is you'll be farming clues while you do this. So if you complete or fail the crime either deliberately or accidentally, you should be at level 12 evidence by then anyway. Way, you can just go back to the Belfry and reset. All right, so I've defeated every enemy except one, and I'm still unfortunately about 10,000 XP away from leveling up. So all I have to do is exit straight to the main menu and reload back into my game. Now I've spawned in not too far away, so when I head all the way back over, I should only need to kill a couple enemies to get that final 10,000 XP I need to hit that level 40. Now I know the Court of Owl enemies don't drop as much XP 
key as some of the other gangs, but the Talon enemies, which are spawning in this activity, do drop up to 6k each, which is heaps. And there you go, I've only killed a few enemies and I've already hit level 40. Now, I probably won't complete the job as I want to save it because it is an excellent way to farm for materials and mods, not just XP. So this isn't useless after you've hit the max level. Now, I do hope this video was helpful. I do think I mentioned everything important in the video, but if you still have questions, leave them below and I'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. I do hope you all have an amazing day. I hope to see you in future videos. Take care. Peace.